Hi, I want to take a moment to show you the inside of my 2009 Dynamax DynaQuest 34XL. As you can see, it has a powered step on it. As we start going inside, you'll notice that it has LED lighting on the steps. Here's a shot of the dash. As we pan around, it has the burl wood dash. It has a CB that's all in one in the microphone. It's very handy. I've used it several times. Here's a shot of the backup camera. There's uh, three different screen views you can choose from. One is the left side of the coach, the other one's the right side, or you can get the rear view monitor. Here's a shot of the navigation system on the Kenwood. It also has Bluetooth audio, so you can sync your phone to it. I had them install. If you look to the right of the microphone cord, you're gonna see our iPod outlet. You can slide, pull that cord out and plug it into your iPad or iPod and play music through it. It's very simple if you don't wanna use the Bluetooth. Uh, my company, Idaho Wrecker Cells, we sell these wireless air pressure monitors, so I installed it on the dash of this motor coach. It's really nice. When it gets ready to go, you just turn it on, and it tells you the air pressure in all of the tires. It also monitors the air temperature in each tire. You will get an alarm if the tire pressure gets too low or the tire gets too hot. Here you can see we've rotated the front two captain's chairs around, and they're facing back, which is real handy when you have guests in the coach. I'm going to go ahead and open up this cabinet here that shows you where all the coach operations, command center, I guess, if you will. On the bottom here is the generator start button. As I mentioned earlier, it does have tank heaters, so you can use this thing in the winter. You just switch that on and it heats the tanks so they don't freeze. Water heaters here and the battery disconnect. Currently, the generator has 493 hours. The next thing up is the auto generator start function, which is real nice. You can program it. The generator will start when the batteries get low automatic. You can make it shut off at night if you want. You can also program it so that it'll start just before your air conditioners need to come on. It does have the RV Comfort um, automatic digital programming for the dual air conditioners in this coach. Then it has the monitor to tell you what the propane and the water, the gray and fresh water tanks are and the battery levels, as well as the HWH jack system is all there for the camper jacks. Here's just a quick shot of one of the little storage bins. Uh, it's kind of a nifty little storage area. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the Lazy Boy Wallaway recliners that we install. We had these custom done. Some of the interesting features about this, the center console is fastened in with a seat belt behind it. So if you ever need an extra place to store blankets or sleeping bags, you can unsnap it and pull the console out. We also have two drawers on here for some extra storage and some cup holders. Um, I'm really proud of this. This is something that you won't find on most motor homes or motor coaches. Um, what's really neat is the fact that they recline and wall away. I'm showing a couple positions. You know, most coaches have a fixed sofa, so you're stuck sitting, you know, it's very uncomfortable with these. You can come in in the evening and just recline and kick back and watch the TV. When we go over here to the other side, I wanted to show you the chairs and the table that we built. Normally there's a U-shaped dinette set over here and I was very frustrated when I would put my children in, they're stuck at the table with you know, real chintzy seat belts. It was very uncomfortable. They were getting motion sick. So what we did is we took everything out and installed these captain's chairs. And if you notice, they have an integrated seat belt on them, a shoulder belt and a lap belt. When we designed these so they'll slide forward and backwards, um, you can recline in them. If you get motion sick going down the road, we even made it so that you can rotate it clear around facing forward, and then you can watch TV or play a game. We also offset both chairs, staggered them so that the viewing is uninterrupted. You're not looking at the back of somebody's head. Um, here you can see the cabinet that we built. It's a great place to store your laptop or extra linens or a briefcase or anything like that. And we built it out of solid cherry wood. Going to just do a little bit of a close-up here on the integrated seat belt for you so you can see that. I'm really proud of this uh, feature. I think it should be standard on all coaches. I'm going to give you a shot of the cherry wood cabinet doors. They're all held up with gas struts. 
There's lots of storage in this. So we didn't take the time to film every one of them. I thought you'd get bored. As we move around to the front, I wanna show you the entertainment system that we installed. You can see here the TV. We took out the stock Jensen and installed a brand new LED TVs throughout the coach. We also were real frustrated with the, the fact that it took three remotes to run this entertainment system. We upgraded it all to one Logitech remote. It's very easy to run. You can run any function from it. You just touch the button and it goes. In this shot, you can see the stereo system, the AV controller. You can also see the DirecTV controller, the Nintendo Wii game stations also in there, along with the Blu-ray DVD player. It's all inside of one nice cabinet. I'm really proud of how this turned out, and I think you will be too. Here's the drawers. We installed one for just you know notepads, pen and papers, and then we did another drawer to house all the DVD players. I'm going to show you the pantry. You open up the door and the pantry rack slides out. Now as we go around into the kitchen, you're going to see the Corian countertops. You can also notice to the left of the faucet there beside the mirror is the buttons to control all of the lights. It's all multiplex. And here you can see the two burner stove and we've also removed the covers over the sinks. It has LED strip lighting around the floors at night. You can just use them to give you a nice uh, lighting of the floor so you can walk around without disturbing somebody else. Here you can see the microwave convection oven combo. Uh, we liked it so much we installed one in our, in our house. Here's the refrigerator and freezer. It also has an ice maker in it. Works fantastic. As we go through the door here, we're going to walk into the bathroom. Dynamax has really done a nice job with their bathrooms. Uh, they make them really feel like a home bathroom. It's got a Corian sink. Uh, really nice faucet controls. It has a China toilet with a maciator pump in it. It's all electronic. It was real important to me to not have a plastic toilet with a foot pump on it. Here's the controls for the maciator pump. It has a water saver feature. You can press number one or number two. Um, has ceiling lights. The fan controls are all right next to the commode. Inside of these two doors, when you open these cabinet doors, there's linen storage. It was real hard to show it with the video camera. But we also left it, you can remove the shelving and install a washer-dryer combo in there if you want. Here's a shot of the shower. It's um, over six foot tall. I fit in there very nice. Um, it's just a really nice shower in this thing. Now we're going to walk into the bedroom. Here's a shot of the bed. If you notice, there on the wall, I installed a, a cherry wood deal where it's holding the remote control. When you buy these coaches, they don't have any place to set water or your keys or a flashlight or the remote, so we installed these. On this side, we installed, we put the water bottle and keys to kind of show you. Pretty good storage in this coach. To the right side of the TV is this cabinet here. It has a drawer in it. It also has a shelf in it, so you can take the shelf out. If you want to use this for a closet with hangers, you just take that shelf out. It as you can see in this shot, we put extra shelves in underneath the Bose surround sound system. You can watch DVDs on this Bose system, or you can watch the DVD from the front television. You can also operate everything back here with one single remote. To the left of it, we have this cabinet. Now this is the one that we keep all of our shirts and stuff in, so you can hang them on hangers in here. There's also three nice sized drawers that you can put your, you know, your clothing in, and it works out really nice. Well, that pretty much sums up the tour. I'm going to show you here what it looks like with the slide slid in. There's plenty of room to walk back and forth. If you like what you see, give me a call. I'll be glad to show you the coach in person. Thanks for your time.